Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Santi BZ400X dry suit undersuit. This is the ladies first version, so a women's specific dry suit undersuit to keep you really nice and warm in pretty cold temperatures. This is actually rated down to, I think it's below seven degrees Celsius. So very cold waters. Uh, I use the uh, the men's version of this when I go diving. It's a relatively low bulk, but nice and warm because it's got that Thinsulate lining, quilted design so the, the lining doesn't shift over time, but a very practical dry suit undersuit, plenty of flexibility, lots of clever sizes as well. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives in a kind of plastic, it feels, it feels like a plastic bag, which I'm not a huge fan of, but hey, um, as long as it gets it to your front door safely, you can recycle that responsibly. Uh, and then you get the uh, the undersuit itself. A little bit of literature on it about the, uh, the Thinsulate lining, um, but otherwise, yeah, let's take a close look at the suit itself. So starting up around the neck, we have a soft fleece neck, which is, uh, just makes it a bit softer against your neck. Uh, it goes up a little bit, so it does sort of go underneath that neck seal, just to give you a little bit of insulation around your neck. The, the, the entire shoulder section, this is made out of more reinforced materials uh, on the outside, so it's protecting that, uh, that undersuit. So if you're carrying bags or whatnot whilst wearing it, a lot of divers, they tend to put their uh, undersuit on at the beginning of the day and then travel to the dive site. That way you don't have to get changed in public or anything. So if you're lugging equipment around, it's just gonna protect your shoulders uh, from the usual wear and tear of carrying bags and stuff around. Zippered opening. Um, and then underneath that, we have a section of Velcro and that just helps to uh, sort of keep everything all in position, uh, even when the zipper isn't completely um, done up. And underneath you'll see we actually have a flush guard. So you tend to find this mainly on, uh, on wetsuits to stop water from getting through. But in a dry suit undersuit, of course, you don't want the cold air rushing straight to you. So it's just slowing gas movement around on the inside of the undersuit. Um, so it keeps that nice insulation. On the inside, it's all this very soft flush uh, sort of fleece material very soft against your skin, so it's not gonna be uncomfortable, especially with uh, re uh, repetitive movements in anywhere. Uh, so even if you're not wearing a, a base layer or something, it's still soft against your skin. Uh, you also have a pair of elasticated braces. So these help to keep the bottoms up. So again, if you're uh, sort of working, breaking your kit down or something after a dive, you take the top half off, the bottoms aren't gonna just fall down. You actually have the braces to uh, sort of hold them in the correct position. And you're still wearing those during the dive. So again, the, uh, the whole suit just stays exactly where you want it to. Moving down the suit, you actually have a little inlet for a heating system. So Santi, they have their heating system, the cables running inside of the suit. So if you're wearing the vest uh, underneath this, you run the cable in through there. Or if you have the gloves, again, the cable runs through there and then it gets inside of the suit. That way you don't have to have the cable going up and around your neck or leaving that zipper open. <clears throat> Looking at the shoulders, so these are almost separate. So you have this panel underneath, which is very flexible. It's very thin as well, because you don't want too much bulky material underneath your arm, because that's just gonna get uncomfortable, but you still need to be able to stretch and reach to do shutdown drills or whatever it is. So you have flexible materials, but low bulk as well. And when your arms are down, they don't need too much insulation because your body naturally protects itself. Just around here, we have two little grommets. So these are allowing for air transmission around your dump valve on your left hand shoulder. If it's all this uh, sort of material, then it can kind of slow and catch air. It can't get to the escape valve, but of course you need it to get to the escape valve. So you have these two little grommets that just promote uh, sort of air movement. On the inside of the elbow, this panel here is actually a little bit thinner as well. So similar to underneath your armpit. Again, so when you're bending and flexing your arm, it's not getting too bulky underneath there um, and you still have plenty of flexibility. Around the cuffs, you have this mesh material. So this is if you have a cuff dump Again, it's allowing better airflow around that area so it can escape easily. 
elasticated cuffs just keep them in position and you do get an elasticated thumb loop so when you're done in your dry suit it keeps it from riding up your sleeve moving down the suit down to around the waist <clears throat> and we have a separate waistband so this is velcro it's a strong velcro <clears throat> uh, and that's just to uh, sort of tighten it in in the waist so you don't have any baggy material around your waist and then undo that zipper i'll just show you the inside these are the uh, the braces you can actually undo those to get in and out of them and of course they're fully adjustable uh, you just tug on the strap to uh, to tighten them or loosen them on the inside, you have a, uh, an internal zippered pocket uh, so to keep things safe. This is quite practical when you're outside of the water. You can just keep things to hand uh, without having to sort of stuff them anywhere unusual. Uh, you actually have zippered pockets uh, if you want to take something with you on the dive underneath your dry suit. If you really want to, uh, you can leave it in there. Two pockets, traditional pockets, pretty big pockets. Um, I can fit my entire hand in and more. It's basically that entire section. So it's almost an A4 sheet of paper, plenty of space. If you put something in it, it's very unlikely to fall out. Um, there's no sort of zippering or anything to, uh, to keep it closed, but they are quite deep pockets. So you'd have to go some to, for something to fall out of them. And they're fleece lined on one side as well. So if you're out on the deck of the boat and it's cold, you want to keep your hands nice and warm, you can put them in your pockets. Down towards the knees, um, these are pre-bent uh, ergonomic and uh, on the back side, I imagine it's a little bit thinner as well. Um, and then down towards the bottom of the ankles, all of the insulation stops a couple of inches just before the bottom, so it's nice and thin. You get plenty of overlap between your dry suit socks and the undersuit itself, and you get a nice wide elasticated stirrup to uh, sort of keep your foot in position and really keep that, uh, that leg in so it doesn't ride up when you're getting into your dry suit. Turning the suit over, <clears throat> and on the back you have the same sort of piping uh, sort of running down you have this elasticated section around the waist so when you're bending it's allowing it to stretch a little bit so it's not restricting you in any way you do still have that flexibility and around the seat you actually have a zippered section double zippered section so that way you don't actually have to get out of the uh, the dry suit uh, under suit to uh, to go to the bathroom um, so you get to stay nice and warm you don't have to expose yourself to the uh, to the cold environment just to use the loop and that's the santi ladies first bz 400x dry suit under suit um female specific dry suit under suit nice and warm incredibly warm but still plenty of flexibility not too much bulk so you don't have to add too much lead to uh, to help you get down very tough and practical as well outside of the uh, outside of your dry suit Got plenty of pockets most dry suit undersuits don't have that many pockets so as soon as you take your dry suit off you're, you it's kind of tricky to uh, be practical without taking your insulation off as well so it's definitely worth considering there's going to be more information on our website simplyscuba.com if you click on the link down in the description below it will take you straight to it so you can check it out and buy it from us thank you for watching and of course safe diving yeah.